If you are a content creator or a streamer or whatsoever in the internet, then this is your number one bet of optimizing your audio workflow and making it more better. We're going to be talking about this software. And by the way, have I mentioned it's all for free? Hi, by the way, my name is Alan from Wanda.tech and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about this software called Steel Series GG or Seal Series Sonar, whatever you prefer. It is from the company called Seal Series. You guys probably know they make headphones, mice, and whatsoever. But this software is actually compatible for basically everything, every audio. As long as you're running a PC or even a Mac, then this software would work. Although if I am not mistaken, this software doesn't work on Linux. Also, all throughout the video, if you do hear a puppy bark, then that's my puppy playing beside me. And if I do sound a little weird and I mumble some words, that is because I feel a little sick. With that out of the way, let's continue. This is the Seal Series app and it does have a lot of feature, but its number one feature, at least for me, is its software on audio game. Anyway, this is how the software looks like. Once you install it, of course, links will be on the description down below. It's as easy as one, two, three on installing. Just next, 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 and you're good to go. This is the software right here in front of you. And I've made several videos about this software, or at least using this software to doing stuff such as um, making your microphone sound way greater and then using it to actually use two headphones or earphones or audio output device at the same time. So if you do want to watch that, I'll link them on the comment section below just so you can easily find them. Here you go. This is the software. By the way, once you install it, you're going to be required to actually create an account. Just a heads up. Now we're going to talk about the sonar right here. This is the only part that you're actually going to need to make your audio game much, much, much more efficient. What do I mean by optimal or efficient, Ashley? So let me pop up OBS real quick. This is OBS right here on this window. And as you can see, I only have one mic source, but majority of the people, they're going to create a gaming scene their audio input would probably be you know from the audio right here they're gonna select their microphone i selected my microphone now what you can't hear the game you can't hear discord there's a new feature on obs by the way which is the application audio capture beta so i can just do that let's say i'll do discord for this one and then i'll go and select discord press ok now i have my discord here but what if i want to add more what's up with my game some people will do this trick where and i'm just gonna select game capture okay and then go and click on capture audio beta as well. Now, whatever the game capture device scans, it's also going to take the audio from that. But that is a little finicky still. And now, what if I want to add my browser, my music? What's, I'm going to add another audio source. And if the game capture doesn't work, most of the time, by the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, you know, stuck with disabling that, adding the actual application audio capture device of the game. So let's say I have another game running. I'm just going to use one of the tabs I have here, such as um moves and then that's how it's going to capture the game audio and that is just kind of insane for me because all i have in my obs is let me delete all of these go to settings output or audio by the way and then i'm just going to select steel series sonar stream everything is already fixed this way let me show you i'm going to hop on to steel series right here by the way i have the streamer mode enabled on the top right make sure that is enabled just so you can see the same screen that i am seeing let me explain this to you masters everything this is your hearing and then this is your output this is your live stream this is what your live stream can hear and it goes for all these tabs the game the chat the media the aux the mic now of course i don't want to listen to myself but if i want to there you go i can hear myself but i only have it enabled for you guys because you guys are listening to me right now and i'm actually using this software at the moment let's first go back to the start let's press the gear icon and of course we're gonna press and select on personal mix your main headphones or earphones so that you can hear stuff you also want to go on stream mix wherein you're going to select still series sonar stream that is what's going to your obs or any other device mic input of course you just want to select your microphone and then you're good to go this is your general windows volume so i usually have this set to 20 and then i'm just going to press on x now we're good with that but how do you set it up first of all we want to make sure that discord actually goes on the chat window how would you do that on obs itself you want to go into settings and then on output device you want it to be going to the chat 
yes the chat so that whatever the chat hears goes into this segment right here now you can see there's two sliders everywhere on the game once again this is what you hear and this is what the stream hears as you can see what i have it set to as is 100 percent on my headphones and the live stream right here would only hear 20 percent of the discord volume now let's say i want google chrome to be on obs i want to play something on google chrome hey so you're probably from my other video i'm playing an audio right now but if you're not from that video and it's on my own channel but i want to set it to be on the media all i have to do is drag google chrome to media boom it works on media you can't hear it right now but if i press this on a different program turn this off i can hear it you can't turn this on you can hear it turn this off I can't hear it that's how big the software is if you just want kind of like the optimal audio route and by the way the software doesn't even use that much when it comes to software so let me go ahead and find it here still so use gg it's using about eight percent of my cpu because i have other stuff happening on the background not just this but as you can see that's just the power it's using and for getting a massive bump in quality of both my microphone audio and having the peace of mind that everything just works with just one source for the stream and i have the sliders with me at least for me is a good trade-off let me pause my own video here and by the way if you're not subscribed yet subscribe one.tech but there's other things that it can do especially with the microphone right now i just have a preset on my mic which i already like but I do experiment from time to time and it's an equalizer. You have a, you probably have seen one of my videos, which is about noise suppression, making your microphone sound better. There's always equalizers there because you got to go and mix around with your bass, sub bass, low mids, mid range, upper mids, highs, and whatsoever. Maybe I'll make a different tutorial for this one, but there's a quick one on my YouTube channel already. So I'll link that down on the description or comment section. What else? It has its own AI noise cancellation. Remember earlier, if you do hear any barks, you can probably hear some and a little bit of playing in the background, but this software probably has removed majority of it because it's actually really great. Once again, for free, you have the NVIDIA broadcast, which uses a lot of GPU power and also just exclusive to NVIDIA RTX GPUs. And you also have crisp, which is paid. And this is just all for free. You also do get a noise gate, which I just have automatically set because I am a lazy guy. And then you also have noise reduction if you want to fine tune it to your own settings and a compressor. So you get all of that in this software, but that is not the only thing. You can actually do it in everything that you can hear too. Insane. Look, I'm on the mic tab right now and this is my microphone being changed, but I can change how certain things sound, such as on aux. You also get to enable the spatial audio, especially if you have a 7.1 surround sound device or whatsoever. You can also have smart volume on. If I turn this on, certain levels will be capped and be compressed to that volume only. So you don't get those massive ear crack sound, crackling sound, or anything that is just too much for your ear. And you can also do a volume boost chat because that is where Discord is coming or going to and as you can see because this is chat they also allow you to put your own clear cast ai noise cancellation for games spatial audio it's just a lot of different features and that's it you don't need a specific microphone or a specific device or any subscription base whatsoever everything for free and available to the public if you guys don't know yet what i'm talking about if you guys never heard of the wavelength this is the wavelength wherein you need to have a wavelength compatible device such as the wave one wave three or the wave xlr and it pretty much does the same thing as you can see you have your mic right here you got your own stuff yeah i guess this is where i'm gonna be ending the video thank you so much guys for watching and once again this is a software to go if you want to level up your audio game of course if you want something much lighter with less features you can still go back to the classic good old voice meter banana or voice meter potato but this software is just way beyond the league of that software and hopefully this video actually showcased the power of this software and thank you so much guys for watching now i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day.